Today I wanted to talk to you about this little singing bowl that I got from Yak Therapy. It is a handmade Nepalese singing bowl. They make them in Nepal and it actually is shipped from Nepal and it's got this beautiful gift box so it would uh, be perfect for giving to somebody as a gift which I do actually intend to do. My son had this on his wish list. So here's what it comes with. It comes with a mallet with a leather wrapping. It comes with a a uh, little silk pillow and this one actually comes with a little green silk pillow and you can set your singing bowl on that. This is the singing bowl and I don't know if you can see the detailing. You can see where each one of the, the hammers have hit, where the hammer has hit the bowl all the way around. It's got divots and it's got a three ring spiraling all the way around it. It's so you, this is the way you use a Tibetan singing bowl. Now this one is made with seven different metals uh, the metals determine what kind of sound and tonal quality it makes. It also comes with a protective uh, silk drawstring string bag to store it in. So whenever you're not using it, you can store it in that if you'd like. Uh, this is a traditional uh, Nepalese singing bowl. They use it, they believe that the sounds resonate in and cause healing. And have you ever seen the crystal glasses where the, you know, the person will fill them up with water and run their fingers around it and it makes a sound? That, this is, works on a similar principle to this. It takes a little bit of practice to learn how to use it, but basically you take your mallet, you tap the side, hasn't got, got a beautiful sound to it. And like I said, it depends on what metals it's made with. It also depends on the size of the bowl. Uh, you cannot hold the bowl like this because then it won't re resonate. Uh, you have to either hold it in your hand like this with, so that you're only touching it on the bottom and you tap the bowl to get it going and then to play it, you just keep running. Can you hear that? I don't know if the sound of it, the, is being caught by the camera or not, but it continues to sing when you run the mallet around it. You can also set it on the pillow if you'd like. I don't want to put it on the metal table because then it would change the tonal quality of it, but it's got a beautiful tone to it. Listen to that again. Like I said, it takes a little bit of practice. I've been practicing for about a week to learn how to do this. The longer you run that, the, the bowl reaches a point where like it crescendos and that's as loud as it gets. Something else that's fun to do is you can put a, pour a glass of water into it and then when you can watch it vibrate. Uh, you, I've tried to do this on camera and it didn't show up very well, but you can watch it, watch the water vibrate. It doesn't really change the sound quality, but I'll show you. So I'll just take a little water, pour it right into my bowl. See, it still sounds kind of the same. 